Hello guys, so uh, today, as you can see, I've got three lighters in front of me, okay? Uh, these are the three lighters that I carry here in Malaysia. We've got the Neo Tree, we've got a Field L, and we've also got a Field S. Um, I'm going to start with the premium uh, mid-range all the way down to the entry level, uh, because this has the most features and this has the least. Alright, so over here on the Field S... This is waterproof, okay? You've actually got airtight seals here, 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 and down here. So if I open this up, you can see one O-ring there, okay? And um, can't see it from this side, but there should be an O-ring down here as well. If I open this and just look in there, you can see that black ring over there. Well, that's another O-ring, okay? And down here, what we've got, it's a tail cap for um, you know where you put the fuel and uh, this is another o-ring just to prevent water from going in there so what this does is the compartment itself is waterproof okay uh, the flint is kept dry and the roller wheel is also kept dry now apparently it's already been tested for five minutes and uh, you know underwater and it comes out fine uh, we'll also notice that um, on the field s as well as on the field l there are, there are actually um, these serial numbers, okay, which is, which is actually pretty cool. Right, it's focused in there. All right. Now, one of the other features that you'll find on the Field S is that if you notice the, the, the tail cap's a little bit bigger, it's because it's actually got a fuel canister. All right, this is just a spare fuel tank, probably last year a day of uh, fuel for you to get home and just refill it. Now, the cap for the fuel tank has its own cap okay i got fat fingers and this is tiny okay so there we go i'm unscrewing it right now and that cap is for flint spare flint all right so you got to give it to the japanese they really thought of everything when they actually made this lighter and the machining that goes into this i mean I, i'm literally using the ends of my fingers just to close it back here and this is really fine work okay uh, this right here is for the it's for flint stone it's for flint okay so you've got a piston there and the flint is right here okay so the flints for the field s and the field l are a little bit wider in diameter uh, and I did do a test I found that the original flints from uh, from Marvelous or Douglas actually strike a little a lot brighter than the um, than the Zippo ones, so it, I I find that to be a positive. I do sell the uh, Douglas flints for like um, fifteen ringgit uh, for a tube of five. I got it right here. Okay, so they they give it to you like this, and uh, yeah, they do strike really bright, and that does aid in the lighting of the lighter itself. Um, I've not tried Zippo flints on the Field S and L. Uh, I assume it works, but uh, again, I've not tried yet. Uh, I guess I'll try and I'll put it in the video in the future. So this is the Field S. You can actually, <laughs> you'll, you'll hear the flint in there. Okay, if you want, you can actually get cotton and just pad it so that it doesn't make that sound. All right, so what we have here is the Field L. So what you'll notice is that this is polished and this isn't. So that's just another thing that contributes to how expensive this guy is. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is that, you know, kind of with use, uh, because this has air holes, the fire actually can grow a little bit bigger, um, meaning it, 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 it will extend a little bit higher than uh, something like the Field L, because the Field L doesn't have any, uh, any air holes at the side. So it, it kind of just maintains at about 1 cm high kind of flame uh, whereas on the field uh, sorry on the neo tree the fire can actually grow up to about an inch inch and a half which is actually quite big so anyway uh, this also has the cover on the tail cap we can open it up all right and you'll notice that there's no fuel compartment in this guy uh, but it does have a compartment for a flint which is pretty cool right there I thought that was empty I think I just must have refilled it recently. Um, what I did was I really liked uh, the Douglas flints. So I actually took one 
and I ground it down so that it would fit into my Zippo. Uh, because the Zippo ones, they don't have the diameter to take the uh, Douglas uh, flints. Uh, okay, so this one is not waterproof, but it actually holds quite a bit of fuel. Not as much as this guy. All right, this is still bigger, but um, the field L is bigger than the Neo Tree. So that already means that this is gonna this is gonna last a lot longer, especially if you don't use your lighter. It's gonna last a lot longer than the Neo Tree. But that aside, um, I've actually tested this guy. It can hold his fuel up to a month. And this guy can hold it for up about twelve days. Uh, this is just with like lighting it once every other day okay so um let's just open that back again so you know that that's the uh, flint compartment in there and we open this up okay again this is where the um the flint goes for the uh the field l now, of the three models, only the Field L can be completely uh, stripped apart, uh, disassembled, cleaned, oiled, and reassembled. Uh, I also do carry the disassembly tool for the Field L. They don't have any disassembly tools for the Neo Tree or for the Field S. Um, I'm told you don't want to disassemble those anyway. Uh, not there's actually a need because, you know what, these are very simple tools. Uh, if you're the kind who, I, I'm, I'm a very very fidgety person, I like to disassemble my things just to see how it works on the inside. Uh, just to make sure I know um, how they tick and how they behave. So uh, I, I, that's why I wanted the uh, disassembly tool for my field L. Okay, so now moving on to the Neo Tree. Now there are... There are other uh, Neo models as well, like the 1, 2, and the 4, but I, I didn't bring those in. The 1 and the 2 have the chain, which I think is annoying, and the 4 is just short and fat. Uh, I don't know. If, if people are interested in it, I guess I could just bring it in, but um, yeah, it's not my thing. So anyway, um, here's the, field, uh, the, the, the tail cap again, okay? Uh, and there's nothing, right? There's, there's no compartment for flint or anything. Uh... There and no spare fuel tank as well, so it's very bare bones basic. This is where your flint goes. Oh, snap! I almost lost that. All right, so this doesn't have like the piston that the other guys do have. Yeah, uh, the S and the L has like a piston kind of thing. This doesn't. This is just spring. All right, so just push that back in. Uh, this is exactly like the Zippos. Um, a method of uh, storing or, or pushing up their uh, their flint. All right, uh, a little bit of an interesting note uh, for these guys. So if you see this thing in the back here, you can actually open up the lighter without striking, without moving the wheel. Uh, in order to actually strike the wheel, you actually have to press down a little bit and then strike it. It's the same with this guy. It's also the same, a bit different with the S, but it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, this allows you to actually open it without striking striking it if you want to now if it's already open okay you want you're gonna strike it without closing it again you can actually just catch on to the wheel like this and just strike right and it will go all right uh, same for this but because you know the teeth are a lot smaller so once it's open you just strike it like that <coughs> on this guy uh, you can do that <laughs> all right so because it's at a bit of an awkward angle in order to actually protect it from water, you really have to press down and just let it slide to the back. Uh, that's how you ignite the Field S, okay? It takes a little bit of getting used to. Again, all of these do actually, but uh, it's actually not that difficult. Uh, it's, 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 quite a lot of, it's quite a lot of fun actually. You know, I, I like to see these things as more of a fidget thing because I don't, I don't really smoke. I only smoke a pipe every once in a while. Um, yeah, so, uh, oh, and uh, the serial number for the L is over here. This one's like up here. This one, I'm um, sorry, this one doesn't have any, uh, which is unfortunate. Okay, so uh, these are just a few differences between these Douglas lighters. They're all made in Japan. They're all solid brass. These are available in different types of metals, but I think brass is probably the coolest. If other materials, other metals are desired, I will bring them in. But uh, right now, I think brass is like 
yeah brass is like the most sought after like brass is class that's a thing right now and i love brass that's kind of what got me onto this all right so uh if there are any questions uh leave a comment in the uh well where else the comment section okay now you guys stay safe catch y'all on flip side